गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माय सेल गणक सर कॉन्फ्रेंस से एक्टिविटी देने के लिए मार्गदर्शन ओके फ्रेंड्स इनटू द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द मैथ वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर एचसीएफ एंड जेनसन एंड इनटू द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द टॉपिक दैट इज फैक्टराइजेशन प्रोसेस ओके फैक्टराइजेशन नाउ फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन That factorization by two methods. Okay, which are that two methods? All of you remember which are that two methods? One is horizontal method, and another one is vertical method. By the two methods, we have seen the factorization process. That means factorization of the any given number by two methods, or in vertical and horizontal method. Suppose, for example, we will take one number again. That is 150. Now I have to factorize that number 150. Oh, so for factorization of that number 150, I have two methods. It is vertical method and I'm sorry, horizontal method and vertical method. Oh, so by these two methods, I am going to factorize that number. So which is the given number? The number one, okay? Because all the numbers are divisible by one. That's why I am not going to take into account that. So from the two, I am going to take the number one. So first number of which I will take into account two. Is the one hundred fifty is divisible by two? Yes, obviously it is divisible by two. So I will take two. So if I divide one hundred fifty by two, what will be the answer? Obviously seventy five. That means. 2 into 75 answers 150. So 75 times 2 are 150. Now again, is that 75 is divisible by any other number? Obviously that 75 is not divisible by 2. Now next number, after this, which number will come? 3. Is the 75 divisible by 3? Yes or no? 75 is obviously divisible by 3. So. If I divide that seventy five by three, what will be the answer? Three two is six, and three five is fifty. So what will be the answer? Twenty five is that. Now that means twenty five is that seventy five. Okay. Now that two is not divisible by any other number. That three is not divisible by any other number. But that twenty five. That twenty-five is not divisible by two, also not divisible by three, not divisible by four, but that twenty-five is divisible by five. So five into the five five is a twenty. So if I want to factorize that one hundred fifty, how I will factorize it by the vertical method? Two into seventy-five. Then seventy-five again I will divide it into the three into twenty. That means twenty five pizza seventy five. Now that two is not divisible by any other number. Three is not divisible by any other number. But that twenty five is divisible by five. That's why five five is twenty five. So how I have divided? If I divide that one hundred fifty two into three into five into five. So that is the factorization of that number one hundred fifty two three is six. Six five are thirty. Thirty five is thirty five are one hundred fifty. That's why the factorization of one hundred fifty is like that. Two into three into five is like that. Now, if I want to divide that one hundred fifty by the vertical method, that means if I want to do the factorization of that one hundred fifty by vertical method, how I will do one hundred fifty? Now that one hundred fifty is divisible by two. That means seventy five is here. Answer is seventy five. Now again that seventy five is not divisible by two, but that is divisible by three. So if I divide that seventy five by three, what will be the answer? Twenty five is the answer. 
Now that 20 has been not divisible by 2, not divisible by 3, but that is divisible by 5. So I will take a 5. If I divide that 25 by 5, I will put it in the answer 5. Now that 5 is divisible by only 1 and 5 will be That means if I divide that 5 by 5, 5, 5, 1, 5. And if you got the 1 at the end, that means factorization process is over. That means how many factors you get? 1, 2, 3, and 4 factors. 2, 3, 5, and 5. Like that, you got the factor. So, find the vertical method. How you will write the answer? Which are the factors? 4120, 2 into 3 into 5 into 5. That means the factors are same for both the vertical method and uh, for both the horizontal method and vertical method. But only the difference is that in the vertical method, we are factorizing the number into vertical method, vertical method, uh, horizontal method, and into the vertical method, we are factorizing the number into the vertical method. Okay. So I think all of you got the proper idea about how to factorize the given in the Okay. By the uh, horizontal method or vertical method. Okay. Now, after the factorization, in two other chapters, HCF and LCF, the main point is finding the HCF. Okay. What is the right form of the word HCF? HCF is highest common factor. Okay. So, how to find out the HCF that we will start with? Now, all of you are able to find out, or all of you are able to prove the factorization of the given number. Okay. Now, we will move towards our main topic that is HCF. HCF means highest common factor. Now, for finding the HCF, how question will come to? Now, question will be like that. Find the HCF. Question will be like that. Find the HCF of the number and numbers are given like that. 24 and 36. Okay. Find the HCF. What is the question? Find the HCF of the number 24 of the numbers 24 and 36. Which are the numbers given to you? 24 and 36. So, we have to find out which is the highest common factor in between 24 and 36. Okay. So, firstly, for finding the HCF, there are again two methods. For finding, for finding the HCF, two methods. So, method 1, method 1 is, which one, there are two methods, out of that method 1 is factorization method, factorization method, and second method is, Which are the two numbers? 24 and 
and a level is 36. Now, we are going to find out x here by the first method, which is the first method, factorization method. That means, into the factorization method, obviously we have to find out the factors of both the numbers, given number 24 and 36. Now, here, for finding the factors, you can use only one method. That means any methods. Which methods you get the simple one. Yeah, that means you can use the horizontal method for doing the factorization. Or you can use the vertical method for taking the factors of the given number. Okay? I think the horizontal method is suitable for finding the factors into the simple one. So I will take it by the horizontal method. Uh, horizontal method, you can use the vertical method. Now for the 24, if I want to find the factor, I will start from the 2. That 24 is divisible by 2. That means if I divide that 24 by the 2, answer will be the 20. Because 12 2s are 24. Now that 2 is not divisible by any other number. But that 12 is divisible by another number. So that 12 is again also divisible by 2. That's why if I divide that 12 by 2, what will be the answer? 6. Because 6 twos are 12. So 2 is not divisible by another number. That 2 is also not divisible. But that 6 is again divisible by another number. So if I take into account 2, that 6 is divisible by 2. That means 2 into if I divide that 6 by 2, what will be the answer? 3. That means 3 to the 6. That means I have taken the factors of that 24 is like that 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now that all factors 2, 2, 2 and 3 are not divisible by any another number. That means my factorization process is over. So which are the factors of that 24? 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. That means 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, and 8 threes are 24. That means our factors are correct. That means I have taken the factors of 24 by the horizontal method. Now you can use the vertical method also for doing the factors of 24. You will get the same answer by the vertical method. Now next number is 36. Because we are finding the edges here by the factorization. So for that purpose, we have to first find out the factors of both the numbers. So I have to find out the factor for the 24. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now for the 36. Which is the smaller number which will divide to 36? Obviously 2. If I divide that 36 by the 2, what will be the answer? Obviously 18. 18 to the 36. Now, that 2 is not divisible, but that 18 are divisible by another number. So, which is the smaller number which will divide to the 18? Obviously, 2. If I divide that 18 by the 2, what will be the answer? 9 is the answer. 9 2s are 18. So, again, that 2 is not divisible by another number. That 2 is also not divisible by another number. But that 9 is divisible by another number. So which is the smaller number which can divide to the 9? Obviously 9 is not divisible by 2. But 9 is divisible by 3. So I will take 3 here. So if I divide that 9 by 3, what will be the answer? 3. 3 3 is 9. That means I have taken the factor of the 36 is like that. 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now that 2, 2, 3 and 3. All the inverse or all the factors are not divisible by any other number. That means our factorization process is over. So which are the factors for the 36? 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now, I have taken the factor by the horizontal method. You can also find out the factor by the vertical method also. Okay? That means, if you want to check the factors are correct or not, you can take the multiplication. 2 2 are 4. 4 3 are 12 and 12 is 36 obviously. That means I have find out the correct factor for the 36. That means for finding the HCL, 
by the factor I have to say, I have to find out firstly factor for both the given number 24 and 36. Okay, by the horizontal method or by the vertical method, you can find out the factor. Now I have to find out the factor. That means for finding the x here, I have completed one process. Now remaining the last process that is finding the x here for the 24 and 36. Now what is the meaning of the word x here? That is highest common factor. Common means the number or the factor which come into 24 also and into 36 also. And highest means larger than. Okay. So which are the factors into the 24 and 36 are the common, which are the common factors that 2 is here, that 2 is here, that means that is the common, again that 2 is here, and that 2 is here, that means it is common. Now for that 2, there is no 2, that means this 2 is not common. Now next factor is 3. Now here is a 3 and here is also 3, that means that 3 and 3 is common. But now here 3 is remaining, but here is not 3 to pair for that 2. That means that 3 is not common. So how many factors are common in between 24 and 36? 3 factors. Which are that? 1, 2 and 3. That means 2 is common. 2 is common. That 2 is also common. And that 3 is common. Okay. That means how many factors are common? 3 factors. And what we have to find out? The highest common factor. How many common factors are there? Three factors are there. That's why if I want to find HCF of HCF of 24 and 36 is equals to which are that? 2 into 2 into 2 into which one is the common? 3 also. So if I take the multiplication of 2 into 2 into 3, what will be the answer? 2 into 2, 4. And 4 into 3, 4 3 is 12. So what will be the answer? 12. Okay. So 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 are 12. So which is the HCF? The answer is the HCF of 24 and 36. That means simple process. What I have done? I have find out the HCF of 24 and 36 by the factorization process. For that purpose, what I have firstly do? I have done the factorization process for 24 and 36 the vertical method, uh, horizontal method. You can take it by the vertical method also. And once I have find out the factors, then I have find out which are the common factors in between both the numbers. Okay? And I have taken the multiplication of that common factor and the answer is the HCF of that given number. That's why that is the simple method for finding out the HCF of the given number. Now, I hope all of you understand that example how to find out the HCF of both the numbers by the factorization process. Okay. Now there are the two numbers. We have find out the HCF for the two numbers. If the given numbers are like that, 10, 15 and 12. 10, 15 and 12. If you want to find out the HCF for the three numbers, 10, 15, and if you want to find out the HCF by the factorization method, simple one. I will take the factorization of all the numbers for the 10. I will take horizontal method, you can also use vertical method. So for the 10, 2 into 5. Now that 2 is not divisible by another number. And 5 is also not divisible by another number. That means factorization is 4. Now next number is 15. Now that 15. That 15 is divisible by 2? No. But that is divisible by 3. So 3 into 5. That means 3 5s are 3 5s are 15. Now that 3 is not divisible by another number. 5 is not divisible by another number. That means factorization is over. Now we mean this 12. Now that 12. 12 is divisible by 2. If I divide that 12 by 2, what will be the answer? 6 is the answer. Now that 2 is not divisible by another number, but 6 is divisible by another number. 
I can divide it by the two, and two threes are six. Now, for the two, two is not divisible by another number. That two is not divisible by another number. That two is also not divisible by another number. That means factorization is over. That means for the ten, fifteen, and twelve, I have found out the factors because I want to find out HCF of the given three number. But the factorization method that's why I have found out the factors for all the given three number. Now what I have found out HCF that means highest common factor. So for that purpose, what I will find out which are the common factor in between both the three numbers. Now for the ten there is a two, for the fifteen there is a not two, and for the twelve there is a two. That means that two is present. In between ten and twelve, but that two is not present into the fifteen. That means that is not the common factor. Okay, in between three numbers. Now next one is five. That five is present in between the ten. Okay, factor of the ten. Now that five is also present into the factor of the fifteen, but that five is not present in between the factor of the twelve. That means that five is also not the common factor in between ten, fifteen, and twelve. Now remaining ones, three and here is a three. Okay, that means in between fifteen there is a three, and in between twelve there is a three. That means which are the common factor in between fifteen and three? No, uh, sorry, in between fifteen and twelve there is a Three and three, but the three is not present in the twelve. So, if I want to find out the common factor for the ten, fifteen, and twelve, which are the common factor, no one is the common factor which are present in between ten, fifteen, and twelve. So, which one is the LCM for same number for the even number ten, fifteen, and twelve? That is only one is the That means if there are no common factor in between both the uh, all the even numbers, that means two number of even numbers, then for that cases, LCM is always one. Okay, understood? If there is a common factor in between all the three numbers, then that is the LCM. But if there is no common factor, then the LCM for all the numbers. That means answer is like that. LCM of ten, fifteen, and twelve are are each each one like this. That means there is no common factor. Okay. So from these two examples, I think all of you get the proper idea about how to find out the LCM by the factorization. Now, in the next uh, lecture, we will take how to find out the LCM by the division. Okay. Now, related to that point, I will send the homework to your WhatsApp group. You have to solve it. Okay. Thank you, friends.